the U.S. Navy is now in possession of its newest guided missile destroyer, DDG-125, also called the Jack Lucas. HII delivered the ship to the Navy after wrapping up acceptance trials in the Gulf of Mexico. The Jack Lucas is the first of the Flight 3 Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, ships that will assume the air defense missions in carrier strike groups. The Jack Lucas is the first ship to carry the Spy-6 air and missile defense radar made by RTX. The ship also features the latest upgrades to the Aegis combat system, meaning the Jack Lucas can perform anti-air warfare and ballistic missile defense at the same time, a critical need for any enhanced surface combat ship. Destroyers essentially act as bodyguards in carrier strike groups. They have cannons to take out surface threats, torpedo launchers for submerged threats, and missiles to take out airborne threats. In addition to the Jack Lucas, the Navy contracted HII to build four more Flight 3 guided missile destroyers. The Flight 3 destroyers are considered the world's most capable surface combatant platforms. In its 2024 budget, the U.S. Navy is asking for $5 billion to build two more Flight 3 destroyers. But the service says with the new upgrades, it's maximized the space, weight, power, and cooling capabilities of all Arleigh Burke-class destroyers. And it's time to think about the next class of guided missile destroyers, currently referred to as DDG-X. The Navy is asking for $187.4 million in its 2024 budget to begin research and development of DDG-X. Initial building plans have the ship displacing about 13,500 tons, almost 40% bigger than the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers. The Navy says the increased capacity will allow for larger missile launchers and increased flexibility as future weapon systems like lasers start to be more widely integrated. The DDGX will also feature an integrated power system. The IPS means the ship's operators can direct power to propulsion or combat systems, depending on the current need. While there is no debating the U.S. Navy needs new and upgraded ships, there is some discrepancy about what types of ships those should be. DDGX, like most destroyers, is based on the idea of putting as much lethality into one asset as possible. But if all your eggs are in one basket and you lose that basket, you have no eggs. That's why some military strategists say if the U.S. and its allies want to combat the growing threat of the Chinese Navy, the rational response is a greater dispersion of forces. By spreading weapons capabilities among multiple ships, each ship is, in theory, less vulnerable to devastating attacks. For more unbiased, straight-fact reporting about the U.S. Navy, be sure to check out san.com. Thanks for watching. We know that Americans' trust in media is near an all-time low. That is why Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact-based reporting. To make sure that you get the journalism that you trust, like and subscribe to Straight Arrow News below. And to catch all of our content, go to our website, straightarrownews.com.